Welcome to this Blender tutorial on creating dynamic text animations. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to bring your text to life using the powerful animation tools in Blender. So let's dive right in. Open Blender and make sure you're in the default layout. Adding text. Press Shift plus A and select Text from the menu. You'll see a new text object appear in the center of the scene. To edit the text, simply press the tab key on your keyboard. Let's type in cinematic title animation as the text for our example. Now let's customize the appearance of our text. With the text object selected, you'll find the text tab in the properties panel on the right hand side. To change the font, click on the drop down menu next to font and choose your desired typeface. You can explore different options to find the perfect style for your cinematic title animation. By separating the title animation and placing it underneath, we can create it a more compelling composition. This arrangement adds visual interest to your animation, capturing the viewer's attention. Next, let's add some depth to our text by adjusting the extrusion setting. Increase the extrude value to give the text a 3D appearance. Play around with the value until you achieve the desired level of depth. Remember, these settings are just the beginning. Blender offers a wide range of options to experiment with, so don't hesitate to explore and find what suits your creative vision. Before we continue, I just want to say thank you for the support. I also want to share some work files and shaders that you can download from Gumroad. Feel free to ask any questions or share any doubts in the comments. Thank you. Next, find the bevel settings. Locate the bevel depth parameter and adjust its value to control the depth of the bevel effect. Increasing the value will make the bevel more pronounced. Additionally, we have the resolution parameter which determines the level of detail in the bevel effect. Increasing the resolution will create a smoother and more refined bevel. It's important to note that the ideal values for the bevel depth and resolution may vary depending on your specific project and desired effect. Now, let's convert the text object into a mesh. Select the text object, then navigate to the object menu and then click on Convert and Select Mesh. To separate the letters, enter Edit Mode. With the mesh selected, Use your mouse to individually select each letter and press the P key on your keyboard. Click on Selection. This action will separate the selected letter into its own mesh object. Repeat this process for each letter, selecting it, pressing P, and choosing Selection to separate it. And select the objects, right-click, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. By doing so, you will have a separate mesh object for each letter of your text. Repeat the same with the title animation text also. Convert to mesh and separate it as individual objects. And also don't forget to make the origins of the object at the center. Select the objects, right click, set origin, origin to geometry. Now let's enhance render by enabling some key settings in the EV render engine. By enabling ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections and motion blur, we can create more captivating and realistic lighting effects. Create a sun. Rotate the sun object to position it in the scene where it illuminates our composition. Here, I am importing a material that I have already exported from Quixel Bridge. Now, let's transfer the golden material to the cinematic text. First, select the cinematic text object and then select the material. After that, Press Ctrl plus L and choose Link Material. This action will transfer the material to the text. Upon closer inspection, we might notice some errors in the material. To resolve this, we need to unwrap the text object. Select the text object and enter Edit Mode. Then press the U key on the keyboard and choose the Smart UV Project option. If we unwrap it as a single object, it will not achieve the desired quality. Instead, we need to unwrap each letter of the text individually. By doing so, we will obtain a high-quality textured material. Repeat the same process for the other texts as well.
Now let's give the title animation text an iron texture. To do this, start by duplicating the sphere and duplicate the material inside the material properties. Rename the duplicated material. Then, navigate to the shader editor and add a hue saturation node between the base color and shader node. Adjust the saturation value to create the iron texture. Next, select all the text elements and select the sphere and press Ctrl plus L to link the material to the text objects. Repeat the unwrapping process by selecting the object, entering edit mode by pressing the tab key, and then pressing the U key followed by choosing the Smart UV Project option. After unwrapping all the text objects, it's time to focus on lighting and animation. We will do various lighting techniques to enhance the visual impact of our title animation. Get ready to bring your composition to life with the power of lighting. Let's begin by setting up our primary light source, the sun. Next, let's add some additional lighting using area lights. Area lights are versatile and can create soft and diffused lighting. Place area lights strategically around your scene to highlight specific areas and add depth to your title animation. Now let's introduce point lights into the mix. Point lights emit light in all directions from a specific location, creating localized illumination. Use point lights to add emphasis to specific elements or to create dramatic lighting effects in your title animation. Remember, the key to achieving realistic and visually appealing lighting is to experiment with different intensities, colors, and placements of the lights. Take your time to fine-tune each light source until you achieve the desired atmosphere and mood for your title animation. As you work with the lights, don't forget to take advantage of the various light properties available in Blender. You can adjust the color, fall off, and shadows to further enhance the impact of the light. Now it's time to set up the camera for our title animation. Press the zero key on the keyboard to switch to the camera view. From here, we can position the camera to centerize the text within the frame. Go to the camera settings and adjust the focal length value to achieve the desired angle and composition. Once we have set up the camera view, we will have a clear frame to work with. Now, let's focus on adjusting the lights to make the text pop once again. We will play with the position of the lights to create a dynamic effect and make the title stand out. By strategically positioning the lights, we can enhance the visual impact of the text and create depth within our composition. Experiment with different light positions and intensities to find the perfect balance that makes the title shine. Remember, the goal is to create contrast and highlight the text, making it visually appealing and captivating. Take your time to fine tune the position of the lights until you achieve the desired effect. Let's rotate the camera a little bit. Here, we have a simple sword that we can position under the title. Duplicate the sword, rotate it, and position it on the other side to create a symmetrical arrangement. And then, we can animate the swords as they come each side, converging in the center as the title is revealed. This animation will add a dramatic effect to our composition. And also, we can animate lights shining through the text and the swords multiple times. Now, I am going to select some text and set a keyframe around frame 350. I will press the I key on the keyboard and choose location, rotation, and scale. Next, I will navigate to frame 200 and move the text back and forth. Let's select the text and change the pivot point option to individual origins. After that, I will rotate the text and set another keyframe and press the space bar to preview the animation. Yeah, it's looking cool. Now, 
we can animate the sword. First, select the sword and move the playhead to frame 400. Set a keyframe at that position. Then, move the playhead to frame 375 and move the sword out of the camera view. Set another keyframe at that point. Okay, we can do the same animation with the other sword also. Now we can select the subtitle and set a key on frame 350. Then set the origin of the texts to individual origins and go to frame 200. Rotate the text and set in another keyframe there. Press the spacebar to preview the animation. All right, now we can do an opacity transformation to the text from left to right. Start by selecting the first letter T and go to material setting and duplicate the material. Then go to Shader Editor and animate the alpha values from 0 to 1. This will create the opacity effect to the texts. But don't forget to change the Blend Mode option from Opaque to Alpha Hashed inside Material Setting. Set the alpha value to 0 at frame 160, and then set it to 1 at frame 170. Repeat the same process for the other texts as well. Select the text, duplicate the material, Change the blend mode to alpha hashed, and then set keyframes for the alpha values and adjust the timing for the next text with a gap of 5 frames. After completing the process for each letter, the animation will look like this. Now, let's move on to setting the shining effects on the texts and swords, as mentioned earlier. We can achieve this by using an area light as the main light source that shines over the text. To create a settling effect in the animation, animate the area light from left to right as the title animation is revealed. This will give a settling effect to the animation. Continuously preview the animation to assess the impact of the lighting adjustments. Now we can do the shining effect for the swords. Here we are using a small area light and going to animate the light over the swords multiple time as the title animation fade out. So all we need to do is animation of one area light and duplicate its key repeatedly. This will give the illusion of a continuous and seamless loop in the animation. Okay, lastly we can animate a shaking effect for the camera to create an impactful moment when the title is revealed. To achieve this, we need to apply random location animations to the camera within 6 to 7 continuous frames. Yeah, this is how you can create this title animation. Okay, let's enjoy the final reveal.
forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.